what's up YouTube Charlie here hey hey guys what's going on man so guess what so I'm a despora I guess that's what they call it on the on the island and I influence the election I vote I'll tell you how no guys so seriously um but before, before the election I started really venting um, sometimes to myself sometimes with my friends on whatsapp or whatever it is and a lot of time I record most of what I do I have a lot of I'm in my studio and this is what I do I make YouTube videos a lot of the videos I decided not to post them even though I was pissed off I'm like you know what let the Dominicans people do their own stuff and finally um, on the election day I guess they did what they what they what they did now I, I've seen a lot of stuff happening on, on in Dominica and a lot of it I am not happy about I have the opportunity to work with a lot of people from here in America and I expose them to my island because I love Dominica so they follow a lot of stuff that I follow I'm at work I have a TV on it's on Dominica lots of YouTube videos that kind of stuff um, one of the things that really took me aback was when one of my friends that planned a trip to go to Dominica and he called me up a few days before, uh, about a week before election and he was like, hey, can you advise me on something? Do you think it's safe to go to Dominica? And I wasn't sure because I know there was blocking of roads and fire and people were rioting and all that kind of stuff. And you can see I did this. Yes, I did this. And I'm like, you know what? Hold on a while. Let me, let me get back to you. And I contacted my people on the, on, on the island, Newton School. Rosa Boy School, Dominica Community High School, ex-police officer, and also ex-village counselor in my village. So I know people on the island. Um, I'm from Lubier, born and bred, and my family is kind of well known around the area. People know me. I respect people and I expect people to respect me back. That's why if anybody put any shit down in my comment below, I will delete it. You have to come with common sense stuff. I hate nonsense so that people know that about me that's why respect given respect earned or respect earned respect given however you, call, however you want to put it but anyway my friend made his plans he had his ticket he and his whole family was going to go to Dominica spend a week or two in Dominica stay in a nice hotel spend money whatever it is then there he was and he wasn't sure I called my contacts in DA in Dominica and I asked him hey what's going on and a lot of my friends reassured me that hey this is just you know people doing stuff in certain areas um, nothing is going on in our area and nobody in our area is thinking of doing things like that I'm like okay I step back talk to my friend I tell him it's okay but by then he had already decided you know what I think I'll go next year instead and I'm like you know what it's even better go around carnival time by then I, I, I'm like you know pro whoever is in power things might die down and there will be no events happening to threaten people image as a Dominican hanging out with foreigners the image that I saw the, 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 the whatsapp messages the videos the the stupid things I see people doing I start to question it I'm like what's going on this is nonsensical because I look at the so-called demonstrations I look at the rap is so-called peaceful riots or whatever you want to call it and I look at the number of people if you have a hundred persons blocking the road and the population is 70,000 people on the island or around 70,000 people a hundred persons being loud or being the loudest on the island doesn't make you you're not speaking for the island you're speaking just for about a hundred people 200 let's say a thousand people you still not speaking for the island even on Facebook I see my friends some, some of my friends and I respect it. it it's freedom to do whatever you want you support whoever you want it's not a problem but I saw some of my friends on Facebook and the kind of words they were throwing out the kind of things they were saying the kind of names they were calling neighbors the kind of names they were calling friends I was shocked I was like, what the fuck is going on? I was like, what the hell is going on with, with, with these people? How serious is this? Who, who is putting that kind of stuff in people? I mean, these are people I know. 
and I know they're not like that. Submit in the morning. I'm waking up. There is always videos and photos and 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 people making up stories. And when I verify it, it's not true. And I'm like, who? Why are people doing that kind of stuff? And I listen to everybody. The, the opposition leader. The, the the prime minister i listened to everybody to get the juice from everybody and i'm gonna tell you something i was really really and if you're not you're not that's your business but i'm telling you the opposition leader every time he talk he never wants like every time he talk it's always a talk about enticing people to do things that are questionable yeah, you can demonstrate. Oh, it's a peaceful demonstration. And we, we know that something was going to happen. If you block the road, you're obstructing traffic. I was a police officer. You don't have the right to do that. You think you do, but you don't. For you to block the road, you have to basically go and ask the police, hey, can I block the road? And if the police tell you no, or he tell you what, block it from a time to a time, and you pass the time, or he come between the time and tell you, or he come in between and say, hey, you have to move. You have to move. This, that's public road. I was driving from work today and you know how pissed off I was because somebody had a flat tire and traffic was, traffic was blocked for miles. I was blue. So I'm thinking to myself, people on the island that go trying to go to work, that trying to, trying to live their life, have to stop and wait for you to burn your tire, burn your mattresses, burn your old car because you feel you're not getting what you want that is cry cry baby one on one a dumpling kind of crap i saw this this plane things people flying in to vote and all that kind of nonsense bro you don't have to do all that i knew there were people on my island because i know people along there that wasn't going to vote they probably say they was but they wasn't going to vote they do to them is like some people just do like doing it I live with people here that never vote because it's a hassle for them. I contacted a few friends of mine and I say, hey, bro, do a favor for me because I don't really ask people for a favor. I barely do. So when I, when I do ask somebody for something, usually they kind of do it for me because that's the kind of person I am. Because if somebody asks me for something and I, I can do it, I will do it. So I just hit up a few, a few people. I'm like, hey, do me a favor. Could you vote for me? I mean, you go and vote for you, but do it for me, bruh. And I persuaded at least eight to 10 people to pass the legal ass and go and vote. So that's how, as a despora, that I voted in Dominica. I didn't have to live here on that chair and go anywhere. I used the power of this and my contacts with the island. And I ask people to do me a favor. Because, I mean, there's lots more I can talk about. There's lots of things I've seen. I mean, a lot of things I've heard. You can watch somebody, watch their reaction, watch how they condone themselves, watch how they move, watch their movement. Listen to their words, listen to what they do. And you can know when it's right or when it's wrong. And don't get me wrong, the Prime Minister is not a saint. I'm sure he's not. And he know it, I know it, and a lot of us know it. The Prime Minister is not a saint. I was very, very disappointed in not just, not just the, the leader of the opposition, but also with a lot of the followers, a lot of my friends. And you know, you know who you are. I mean, the kind of words and language that some of you use on 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 social media to your other friends to people that you know to make them feel like they stupid because they support another party not realizing that politics is a game politics is a game that's why you have advisors and people to do strategies and all kind of stuff like that that we becoming gang members, we following gangs, and it puts us in a kind of position where we have to follow the rules and the regulations and keep like everything the gang stand for. We have to just say yes, it's right. 
even though deep down we know is bullshit. I've never called myself freedomite, liberite, youth of the PI, or whatever you call them. You should never let any person in power or any person that vying for power know how much support you're putting behind them. You should question stuff. I question people all the time. I question people on my job. I question my bosses. I question everybody, especially people in power. Question, question the things they do. Why are you doing this, bro? And you, you have to tell them also that this is wrong too. There have to be something they do that you disagree with that you can say, hey, this is not right. Mm -hmm. But if everything, everything a political leader do, you say he's right and he can do no wrong, then bro, you are a, you're like a, you're like a real follower that don't care about shit. You're a gang member now that vow your collar and that's it to death. That's, that's what you are. You're a poto, whatever it is. I don't want to get involved in party politics. I don't want to get involved in politics like this because it's nonsense. But I'm telling you right now that the leader of the opposition, honestly, he haven't demonstrated to me, honestly, that he really, really and truly have the temperament. And I don't know if that's a good word because it's for Trump. But, but I don't know if Mr. I, I don't know if he really have the temperament to be the, to be a leader of Dominica. And honestly, I'm I don't want to say this word. But honestly, I'm happy he lost. Because he's not ready yet. I was watching his speech. I listened to his speech after. He didn't concede, which I it's cool. You don't have to concede. But there's something that he said in there that he was like, nobody is supporting them. And <laughs> bro, he's right. Nobody supported them. Well, not nobody, but most people didn't support that shit. Because it was just a lot of nonsensical things that they were doing. On your island, putting Dominica name in the mud. And that's where it was, bro. I'm an I'm a outsider who see things. I'm on YouTube and I do a lot of stuff. And I'm telling you right now, it's not a good thing to have. It's not a good thing to have your name out there like that. Nobody in their right sense. You don't see no other island in the Caribbean have people putting down their island or their country like that. And, it, this not, and that's not the first time it happened. And that might not be the last time it happened. So I don't know how, I don't know if I'll post this video. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. But I'm just like venting right now. But I want people to say we have power. Even though we're overseas, we have power overseas. I have family in Dominica. I have friends in Dominica. My entire family is back in Dominica. I have friends in Dominica. I have people who, if I call them up today, I can ask for a favor like that. So we don't have to fly in 8,000 people, which is bullshit. 8,000 divided by 24, that's 333 planes. Really?